Hey everyone, it's the Chaplain here coming to you with a little Axis and Allies 1940 BBR playing with Lieutenant Dan. This is Operation Mincemeat. We are in Anza Canarance 6. <clears throat> and until the early stages of this turn, I was resolved that the game was pretty balanced. A lot of our contributors, um, commenters rather, uh, have stated the exact same. However, a few devastating things have happened to the Allies this turn. Uh, for example, I made the ignorant move in leaving my American fleet in 33, which I pointed out um, in my earlier video. <clears throat> and then as the UK, I went and took Greece, and I shouldn't have sent as much naval power. In fact, I should have sent one non-combat cruiser to 97, to prevent his retaliation, he took Greece back, no problem. So, anyway, um, I'm waiting for Lieutenant Dan to possibly call me back. We'll see how this goes. I'm thinking about making Canada do diplomatic action uh, that would require us to do a live draw. Um, so if he calls me back during this video, if there's some random pause in it, there is your explanation. <clears throat> if not, and he doesn't call me, I won't do it. So first, Anzac. Anzac had 20 to spend. I'm gonna put one pro-allied chip into the bag. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I'm spending 18 on six infantry and saving one. So, uh, Anzac uh, does need to, Japan didn't roll convoy um, for this, and so I have the potential to take four IPCs away from him, so let's do that before I actually do my moves and stuff. So, <clears throat> here we go. Put it in the cup. Subs get two dice. One, that's not counted, so he loses two IPCs. Lieutenant Dan, please remove two IPCs from Japan's bank. Thank you, sir. Um, we did an audit of the IPCs where they didn't match. Um, I sent him a very laborious text just after 5 a.m. this morning to correct all of the <laughs> the IPCs. So, uh, so that's this is gonna stay here. I've debated moving this fighter home, home, moving him up to India to help protect, and honestly, I might do that. I I have no combat to declare. Sorry if I didn't make that clear. So yeah, I'm gonna fly this fighter from Sumatra into 41, 39 into India. Stand up, homie. <clears throat> I have two fighters over here with an airfield. One, two, three, four. His transports can't hit Queensland. But they can dance around and hit Sumatra. So I might as well make him earn it. All he can send is a destroyer with it. So I'm going to send these guys. That's right. I am going to fly them. 54, 1, 55, 2, 42, 3, 41, 4, Sumatra, 4, or 5. So now I have the option to use them um, really almost anywhere that I want. I could fly them up into India for the defense. Um, <clears throat> all right. Um, other non combat moves, I'm going to move this infantry up and then place my new units. I gotta place three in Sydney and three in Queensland. So, like I said, I saved one. Put these away. I like the uh, I Will Never Grow Up chips, but one Christmas I asked for a really nice poker set. And so my in-laws got this for me. These are really nice clay chips. And so I'm just using them in corresponding color with the original cash greens are ones reds are fives blues are tens and it works out for me I, i've thought about getting a stencil or a stamp and stamping it but honestly i kind of like it how it's all right so that was anzac um like i said they saved one they're at 15 on the tracker and i still have my no so that's 15 and 5 is 20 and i will save one i did save one so i have 21 to spend next turn Canada, Dan hasn't called me back, <clears throat> which is perfectly fine. So in that case, I'm gonna spend 10 on a fighter, 
saving one, I'm gonna add one Pro Allied Diplomatic Chip to the bin. Bag, whatever. All right, so there's an overwhelming number of Pro Allied Chips in there, and yet for some reason, the Axis Chips are the only ones that get called off. Um, and I'll do a disposition of Anza Canaran's forces here at the end. Uh, Canada does have a few moves. Um, it's mostly non -com it's all non-combat, rather. Um, I have a fighter in Iceland. He's going to fly into London. Nope. One, two, three, four, five into Norway? No, that's stupid. He's going to fly into London. <clears throat> and then the bomber is going to fly... One, two, three, four, five, six into Brazil. That's it for the Canadians. I think. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the French. Uh, the French actually do have a combat. This Italian fleet has been bothering me this whole game, and I know that the odds are not in my favor, um, but he doesn't have AAA, and he doesn't get a boost. So I'm going to have a two and a three versus two threes. All right, here we go. Empty cup. My attack. No hits. I won't even mention what the British have lost. No hits, praise the Lord. All right, round two. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is crap. Nobody wants to die today. Oh. Apparently the French do. Okay, so. Cool. It is just a game. But this stinking Italian Navy has just been destroying every offensive effort I have put forth. I have lost two bombers, two fighters, as the British, at least. Um... Along with a couple destroyers, the French have lost a cruiser, some destroyers, uh, at, at least, yeah, one cruiser and one destroyer, maybe two, um, and now they're only fighter in the game. <clears throat> That's poop. All right, non-combat, I'm going to move this guy up to Syria, and this guy up to northwest Iran. Disposition, get your hand out of the viewfinder. Dadgummit, I'm so sorry, you guys, I'm... <laughs> Okay, full disposition of Anza Canarance forces, Canadian infantry in Quebec, Canadian infantry and tank in French Guiana, two Canadian infantry and a bomber in Brazil, Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, French infantry, Morocco, Canadian infantry, Gibraltar has nothing from Anza Canarance anymore. <clears throat> There's a Frenchman in Syria and a Frenchman in Northwest Iran. Two Frenchies in London, two Canadians in Scotland, Canadian fighter in Scotland. <clears throat> uh, I think that's it on this side. Anzac fighter, Calcutta. Two Anzac fighters, two infantry in Sumatra. Infantry, Anzac and Dutch New Guinea and New Zealand. Three Anzac Infantry in Sydney. And then Queensland has two triple A's, one artillery, and two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen infantry. There's also an Anzac sub still in 37. Full disposition of Anzac Canaran's forces. I'm the chaplain. I'll be praying for you. Yeah, I'm a big doofus. I forgot to place my plane. This was spent, I saved one. The plane is going to go in Quebec, so add that to the disposition. And then Canada is at 9 on the IPC tracker, plus 3 over here. So I'll collect 12. Here's 10. 11, 12. I'll have 13 to spend next turn for Canada. France doesn't have any money. Now I'm done. Have a great day.